Uh, this is 48 Conkly here with the uh, HP 22A. Uh, this is made by Phoenix Arms and I'm just going to quickly show how to disassemble and reassemble the gun. Alright, uh, first things first is you want to make sure that your gun is unloaded, which this is. And the magazine's empty. You do need the magazine inside the gun to do this. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, but then your hammer also has to be back. And then your firing pin block needs to be in the downward position. And then you can go ahead and slide the takedown lever forward. Sometimes it helps to use your nail a little bit. Then you need to gently pry out. Sometimes it's a little difficult here. Get your barrel out. The barrel comes right out. Then your slide will come off. And then you got your uh, <clears throat> takedown bar with your little recoil spring and then your little guide rod that's part of the whole assembly there. And then pretty much the gun is apart. Uh, you can do whatever you need to do to clean it. Uh, if you want to, you know, it's easy. You can take everything apart if you need to. Uh, get a good look at it and inspect it. And then to reassemble, all you need to do is get your takedown bar here. Slide it in. And you got to make sure you slide it under uh, there's this little support bar in the frame there. If you get it under just like that, then it'll rest onto the frame. Then you get your uh, then you get your uh, slide here, and you do got to watch out for uh, <clears throat> for the ejector here because uh, sometimes it tends to hang up uh, on this little steel plate in the back of the slide. So you, it also is easy to kind of start towards the back when you're reassembling it just like that and you can get, and get it lined up uh, and then what you want to do is get your recoil spring and you just got to put it under the guide rod there compress it oh, sometimes it's a little difficult there uh, and get it sitting there like that then you want to take the flat part of your barrel, uh, just like this, set it down into the frame, and it makes a nice tight fit. Then you want to slowly slide back. You want to slowly slide back the slide, keeping pressure with the barrel onto the spring assembly, so that way it doesn't just pop out. When you get it all the way back go ahead and put on the safety. This will hold the slide back and it will keep the spring compressed and tightly in there. <clears throat> then what you want to do is take your barrel and take this little notch here and get it to set on that little support bar down there inside the frame. So you gotta kinda put it in at an angle and you'll feel it, it uh, kinda locks on just like that kinda loosely and then all you have to do is click it down like that, take it off of safety, and then just kind of give it a few test pulls to make sure that it cycles. And you're good to go. Thanks for watching.